Guys, welcome back to the garage. I am standing in my garage space. This is where my Model 3, Tesla Model 3 was parked. It's now empty. I ended up selling that car today and I wanna go through what I paid for it, what I sold it for, and the whole process that I went through. Now, if you've been following my channel for a little bit, uh, about a month ago, I bought a Tesla Model 3 2018 long range rear wheel drive from a local dealer. A dealership had it listed on the local classified. I was looking for one because I was, I was shopping for a new Model Y. And Tesla last quarter, and this quarter right now, they're doing a, a full self-driving transfer to your new car. So if your existing car has full self-driving paid for, you can transfer that to a new car. So I wanted to see if I could buy a car that had the full self-driving capability package prepaid on it, transfer it to a new Model Y, and then sell the car and see how much that would cost me. Hey guys, I want to do a complete breakdown of all the numbers, the prices, how it worked out. Let's talk about first the purchase price of the car. So the car is a 2018 Tesla Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. I found it on my local classified. A dealer had this listed. Now, I, I, I gave some information on my last video. I'll leave a link down below. But when you're shopping for like a used Model 3, for example, there's some 2018s and 2019s that don't even have autopilot. They have this thing called autopilot safety features. Some have autopilot, some have enhanced autopilot, and some have the coveted full self-driving capability. That's what the car had that I bought. I saw it because a de dealer posted a picture of the software screen. If you go into the, the car's controls and go under software, you can see if what packages it has as far as the autonomous driving is concerned. So I was looking for a car that specifically had full self-driving capability included. And when it says included, that means that it, it was it, it prepaid, like the buyer of the car originally paid the full amount, whatever the cost was, eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars back in, 2018 when they bought it new. That's what I wanted to find because Tesla would allow me to transfer that to a new purchase of a car and I wanted to buy a new Model Y long range, long range and I could transfer that full self-driving from the Model 3 to the Model Y. Let's talk about the pricing and what I pay for the car. So if we look at the numbers here, this is the purchase price, $19,500. They had it listed for $19,900. I was able to talk them down $400. I really had to like twist their arm to do that. But uh, I thought that was going to be a pretty good deal at the time, and it turned out that it, that it was a pretty good deal. $19,500, especially because this car was in phenomenal condition. Um, I did another video where I walked through the car, but the car had brand new tires on it. It was in mint condition, not a scratch on it anywhere, perfectly taken care of, paint protection film, all weather mats. It had a tow hitch on it. It just was like the perfect kind of used car that you would want to buy, just taking care of really, really well. So I was really happy to find that car. $19,500 was the price. The sales tax, I pay seven and a quarter percent sales tax in my area. So that was $1,446.30. The document fee, they would not budge on this at all. And I thought this was high, but you can sometimes negotiate this. I was not able to, $449. So basically $450 for the document fee. Registration, registration is a little high because in my area, the DMV charges you a little more because I don't pay like tax on the gas that's purchased. So they add that into that. So registration for the year, $300.75. That brings us to a, a total price. This is what the total price like out the door of the car was, $21,696.05. Dealer said nothing about the tax credit. There is a used EV tax credit for $4,000 that could have come off the price of this, but I don't think the dealer knew much about it. They weren't, a, they weren't very experienced with Tesla. This was the only Tesla they had on their lot. They were like a Hyundai dealer, a new Hyundai dealer, and they were, someone traded into them. They just wanted to get rid of it. They didn't know that it had the full self-driving capability. They didn't know about the $4,000 tax credit, and so I, don't, I didn't qualify for the tax credit, so the tax credit was not taken on this car, which is a good, which is good because it turned out to be to my benefit when I went to sell the car. Now there is a few other fees I want to talk about. I had to pay insurance for, th I owned the car for 33 days. I used the Tesla insurance and I did the, the least amount of miles possible. I said, I'm only going to drive a thousand miles over the course of a year. It was only $57 for the 33 days that I owned the car. So that was very reasonable. I took a loan on the car and I didn't know what I was going to do with it initially. I know I wanted it for the full self-driving I didn't know if I was going to keep it long term, short term, and so I just decided just because it was kind of a last minute purchase, I didn't I didn't want to really go to the bank and get a check. So I just I'll just I just finance through the dealer and I ended up paying over the 33 days $157.64 in interest by carrying um I put $2500 down and financed about 19 19 and change. 
so the total in like insurance and interest fees, $214.64. Okay, so that brings us to the total cost. $21,910.69 was the total price that I paid for the car to keep it for, 20, for, for 33 days. Now, a couple weeks ago, I listed it on my local classifieds and I listed it for $21,900. Like, I'm like, you know what? I want to get as much money of my, uh, as I can back for the car. And I had stripped off the full self-driving, so I expected it to maybe go for a little bit less than that and then just figure whatever the cost was, however much less I got than this number, would just be the expense I paid for the full self-driving capability package because I bought my new Model Y, and when I bought that car, I was able to transfer the full self-driving from this car to the new Model Y, and it worked out great. So now my new Model Y has the full self-driving capability at, for the life of the car. It stays with the car, which is awesome. And I only had to pay $21,910.69 uh, for it, but I'm looking to sell the car. So I listed it on my local classifieds. Many people inquired about the car and they asked me several times, hey, can we do the deal through a dealer so we can get the tax credit? Because it does quali this car qualified for the tax credit because it's under, I listed it for $21,900. It's under $25,000. I didn't take the tax credit when I bought it, so it's still eligible. It's less than, it's, it's more than two years old. Um, and so it met all the requirements for that. So I listed it on there. I had a couple people interested. Some people messaged me. Um, I was trying to find a dealer that could do the deal and you know, kind of run the, the, the deal through, through, through a dealership so that way someone could get it for you know, essentially $4,000 less than that. Um, I wasn't getting a ton of interest. I got, a, I got a text from a dealer, a used car dealer. They sell a lot of used Teslas. And they're like, hey, we'll give you an 18.5 for it. And I'm like, well, that's low. I, don't, I want, I want, I want 21.9 for it is what I listed it for. Then they're like, okay, we'll give you 19.5. I'm like, hey, this thing's in perfect condition. You guys will have no problem selling this. It also has, and it stayed with the car, premium connectivity included package for the life of the car. So that data plan that's normally $100 a year, this is it had it included. I don't know uh, what promotion Tesla was doing in 2018 when this car was bought new, but it has the premium connectivity, which is another saving. So I'm like, it, had all, it has all these nice features to it. And eventually the dealer's like, okay, we'll give you $21,000, but that's the most we can do because it is rear wheel drive. In my area, it, is get, it does get inclement climate, like, like weather in the winter time, and people like to have all wheel drive vehicles here, but this car with snow tires would do perfectly fine. It's, it's no problem with like snow if you had snow tires on this car. So I said, they said, okay, we'll give you $21,000 for it. And I waited a few days. I'm like, all right, I really want to get $21,900 for it. I want to see if I can find someone that I can sell it to. So Today I decided, you know what, I'm just going to sell it for $21,000 $21, to this dealer. So they had everything filled They had everything filled out. I went down there. They made it a super easy process. They sell all these cars. They bought it from me for... So they, they cut me a check for the difference of what my payoff was. So I pocketed some money. They're going to pay off the loan. So essentially, they gave me $21,000 for this vehicle that I owned for 33 days that I took off the full self-driving package on and added it to my car. Because they're going to sell it for probably you know twenty two, twenty three thousand dollars to someone else, but they're, but someone else is going to qualify for the tax credit of four thousand dollars. That's going to come off at time of sale. So someone's going to get this for eighteen, nineteen thousand uh, dollars, which is a good deal for someone. The tax credit is really beneficial. So dealers that have access to the tax credit that are set up to take the tax credit at time of sale really have a good advantage in buying and selling these Teslas, these used Teslas under twenty five thousand dollars, because they can offer it four thousand dollars less. And it, 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 it's, a, it's good for the dealer. It's good for the buyer as well. They get it cheaper, the dealer makes more money. So, so the bottom number here, $910.69 is what full self-driving, the included package, cost me on my 2024 Tesla Model Y. Now I had to do, I had to go, I had to buy the car. I had to do kind of go through the process of selling the car. So there is some, some like work and time involved on my end, but for $910, I have full self-driving capability on my 2024 Model Y at a very reasonable price. To buy this outright right now, it's $12,000, or Tesla did just lower the cost of this to $100 a month, so essentially it's nine months of using this or, or subscribing to their service that would have would have paid for this. So I feel that this was a win, that I, I felt I came out ahead because I got most of my money back, full self-driving only cost me $910. If someone was to say to me before I went through all this whole process, hey, if you just pay $910, to get full self-driving on the car, would you do it? 
hands down, I'm sure most people would because it's a $12,000 option with Tesla. So guys, this is a way to add full self-driving to a new car that you're buying. So Tesla's doing it this quarter. I confirmed with my sales rep that uh, quarter two, 2024, Tesla is allowing full self-driving transfers. So if you're looking at a new car, maybe look at buying a used one, used car. Uh, this Model 3 turned out to be a good deal because it was, it was well-priced and the dealer really didn't price in the full self-driving capability that it had built into it. And I was able to buy the car, strip it off, and really sell it for a pretty good price after all the fees. Now, if I was a dealer or something, I wouldn't have had to pay sales tax and dock fee and all this stuff. But I'm not. I'm just a private buyer. Uh, so it cost me $910. I think, that's, I think that's a pretty good deal, guys. What do you think? Leave in the comments down below. Hopefully this information was helpful. If you're looking at a new Tesla, guys, maybe consider something, doing something like this, finding a car that has the full self-driving, stripping it off, adding it on. And um, now that Tesla has version 12 of the soft full self-driving software in the cars, it's a huge improvement. It's, it's, real, it's a real game changer. I mean, you can see the leaps and bounds that Tesla's making in this full self-driving software. It's now considered supervised versus beta. So it's out of beta version. And I can only see this getting better in the future, especially now that it's only $100 a month to subscribe to it. More people are going to be using it. That's going to feed more information into the system, and it's going to learn and grow and develop and adapt to everyday driving to the point where maybe someday it will be autonomous, which would be really cool. Guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this was helpful or informative. It was interesting for me to see the full breakdown and to know exactly what I paid for the FSD on my 2024 Model Y. Pretty good deal, wouldn't you say? Guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.